This is Dr. Jeffrey Whitman describing the insertion of the OASIS pupil expander. This is actually my second use of the instrument, and as you can see, even then it's quite easy. To load, you actually pull back on the injector, not the retractor, to about halfway down into the channel that it comes in, and then you just pull back on the button on the inserter. It goes into the inserter, and then uh, we can pretty much easily put this through probably about a 2.4 to 2.6 millimeter incision. The entire dilator is injected above the iris into the anterior chamber. Make no attempt to engage the iris at this point. The injector is brought below the dilator and then brought out of the eye. A Sinsky hook or similar instrument is used through the eyelets to engage each corner. And you do this tire iron like uh, with opposing corners. takes a little bit to get used to to uh, disengage the uh, Sinsky from the uh, opposing eyelet, but this gets easier with time. Something you'll readily notice is that you'll see iris edge at the corner after insertion of each corner of the dilator and this is normal this is what you should notice here we're engaging the uh, last corner and once all corners have been engaged you can actually physically just move the whole dilator apparatus to the center and then you're ready for surgery segment removal is easy particularly since you have this wide dilation. In fact, I've noticed that it's very easy on INA because you have great visualization of where all the cortex is. Lens insertion, again, is above iris. You're not going to engage iris with it. It just gives you a nice, simple injection of your lens. And then removal is quite easy. It's best to use a uh, collar button type instrument. You simply push the leading edge away from you. So you disengage the two corners that are closest to you, and then hook and pull out and remove. And you'll see once you perform irrigation aspiration, you get really a nice round pupil.